Hello everyone, it's B1 here and welcome back to another New World Guide. Today we're going to be going over one of the most useful skills in the game, engineering. Firstly though, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into our guides and all the comments we've received so far. The growth of this channel has been insane and we really appreciate all the support. Let's get straight into this by looking at what you will initially be crafting between the levels 1 to 50. Now a number of these items are very close when comparing how much experience you get per gold spent, so I highly suggest you apply these calculations to the economics of your server to see what is the most efficient cost-wise, but also based on the deductions that you might have on your crafting taxes. Firstly, we have gunpowder, which gives 96 experience per craft. You need 5 charcoal, 2 flint, and 1 saltpeter. For me this was the total cost of 2.15 gold, or 44.7 XP per gold spent. My preferred option is to craft treated fishing rods which give 204 experience each. You need 12 timber, 3 coarse leather, and 2 linen. This gives us a total cost to craft of 5.75 gold. The reason I like doing it this way is because surprisingly you can sell the uncommon and rare ones on the trading house. They can also be salvaged for an average value of 0.6 gold giving a net cost of 5.15 per craft, or 36.1 XP per gold spent. I substitute out the high linen cost for shade cloth, as I still had loads of these left out the levelling armouring, which cost me 0.05 each, and it pushed my XP per gold up to 49.2. You'll need to craft either of these up to level 50, which requires 11,025 experience, so it will take 115 gunpowder, or 55 treated fishing rods. From levels 50 to 100 you'll be crafting aged fishing rods. They give 540 experience per craft and require 13 lumber, 3 coarse leather and 2 linen. This gives us a total cost to craft of 12.4 gold. Now I managed to sell rare versions of this for up to 35 gold each on the trading house. But even in the worst case these can of course be salvaged for around 1.8 gold worth of lumber. This gives us a total net cost of 10.6 gold each or 50.9 XP per gold spent. You need 86,250 experience to get to level 100, so you'll need to craft 160 aged fishing poles. At level 100 you can now craft star metal tools, which if your server isn't fully developed yet can still sell for decent gold. The cost to craft these vary between 50 to 75 gold each, so it offers pretty bad experience per gold coin spent. But if you can afford it and there's still demand on your server, you can maybe craft 5 to 10 of these and see if you get lucky. The traits you're looking out for are luck, yield and azoth extraction. The main method I used is weirdwood fishing poles. They give 1425 experience per craft and require 14 weirdwood planks, 3 coarse leather and 2 linen. On my server that was a total cost of craft of 33.45 each with a salvage value of 5.28, so a net cost of 28.17 gold or 50.6 XP per gold spent. Now this is slightly less than the aged fishing rods, but there's much more potential to sell these on the trading house. You also need to consider the crafting taxes now as they really jump up at this tier. But this can be done up to level 150, or from 110 you can craft a little known bow, which if you have access to the materials gives insane experience per gold coin spent. They are the Shipyard Sentinel and Deep Watcher bow. Now the trouble with making these is that they require expedition materials to craft. You may have already noticed that you cannot search for these materials, but you can actually still buy them through the trading house. The best way of finding them is to have one in your inventory already, and find it in your sellable items tab, like I've just done with Jade Collar. These bows take 14 weirdwood planks, 3 coarse leather, 2 linen, 10 of the basic expedition material and 1 of the uncommon. Now because it's really difficult to find and buy these materials, buy orders really work here, um, so you really need to take advantage of this but the prices will of course vary server to server, so you should first check to make sure it's even possible to do it. If not, stick to the fishing rods. Now these are the only expedition weapons I will suggest crafting, because the higher tier ones require materials that are also used to make the best armour in the game, so really expensive, and the others just seem to be non-existent on the trading house. However, if it is different on your server, then please go ahead and craft those too. From level 150 up to 200, you're going to be crafting ironwood fishing rods, these give a massive 3,100 experience per craft. They require 15 ironwood planks, 3 leather, and 2 linen. The total cost to craft on my server was 47.65 gold each, but there's also a high crafting tax. I will input mine, which is 4.4 gold each, into the calculation as an example. There is also a salvage value of 7.2 gold per rod to consider, which gives us a net cost of 44.85 gold 
were just under 70 experience per gold spent. I managed to sell most of my rare and epic crafts between 70 to 100 gold each, with an extra lucky one going for over 250, which more than covered the cost to craft. At this level you can also make Orocalcum tools, check if there's still demand on your server, and if so make a few and see if you get lucky. As you can see in my small clip I rolled a 544 gear score luck and yield pickaxe, which netted me just over 3k gold for them both. So that sums up my guide on the most cost effective method I found on getting to 200 engineering. If you've got this far, just know there's some great ways to make gold at this level which I'll go into more detail in the next video. Thanks again for tuning in, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content on New World and comment below on what you want us to cover next. Have a good one and good night.